Yeah, Mike, we, we've been here for almost five hours, and that's pretty much almost the amount, the exact same amount of time that that truck has been flipped over on exit 104 northbound I-95. This is the exit that takes you to the airport on Airways Avenue. This is the exit that takes you to Tanger Outlets from Pooler Parkway. It's just been completely blocked off for hours. Traffic has just been super slow in that amount of time. I'm just going to run you through really quickly how this crash happened from what GSP told me. Georgia State Patrol told me around 1:15 they got the call of that flipped over semi truck. They say an Audi sedan improperly changed lanes, struck the front of that truck, caused it to lose control and flip it over. We, I was here earlier when the Audi was on the scene. You can see right over here, there are some skid marks from when it just flew off the side of I-95 and it ended up right here. I, ha I remember seeing it right here. This fence is bulging out from that Audi. It just it caught it. We have some video of it. You, you can take a look as well. That Audi has been cleared from the scene. EMS has been cleared from the scene. Savannah Fire has been cleared from the scene. Right now, they're just working on getting that truck cleared from the scene. It's been a lengthy process. They have to get a wrecker crew out here to take everything out of the truck, put it in a different truck, just to be able to get it apart and flip it over. I haven't seen that much progress since then because it is a lengthy amount of time. You have to flip everything that was in that truck back over to get it out of the truck and load it up in a different truck. I'm going to keep checking in with Georgia State Patrol to see if they have any more details about how exactly this happened, if he was trying to, to cut off the exit or something like that. But I'm going to keep it, send it back to you, actually. I know we have our Dylan Smith checking in on traffic, not just in this area, but around the rest of our coverage area. Dylan, how's it looking out there? Well, Ryan, we actually are going to start out with you, those